hello viewers welcome to this channel once again in this video you are going to learn how to create a lens flare effect in photoshop so before we begin i would like you to subscribe and like the video you can also share it as well now let's move to the app <coughs> okay sorry this is my photoshop app Okay, sorry for that. Now I'll create a new file. Okay, 1200 by 1200 pixels with the height and width and the resolution you can use any. This is just for a tutorial, so okay. Coming. Okay, so this our new file we have here let me bring this up a bit okay so before we create the lens flare effect i would like to make this one have a black background okay so i'll give this one a black background here now i'll import in our first resource from the desktop that's this camera okay so this is our first resource I'll use the magic eraser tool to quickly remove or get rid of the background and move it into the work area okay so now with this we can resize it to make the size a little bit bigger so I'll resize it. This size is perfect. Now with this done, I'll try and put a second resource as well. So I'll place that one. So I'll open that one to a new. Okay, we have some things where I downloaded from Google just go to google and search lens flare and you get so many of them let's see i'm going with this one okay now i'm going to cut off the part because i don't need that part i follow okay then control plus g so I'll come here and hide the background. This is what I have. And I'll move that top layer onto our work area. Just like this. Okay. Very cool, right? Now because of this black background, as we can't see the effect having or showing up. So we come to our blending options here. You click on it. Then you select screen. From the blending options. Okay. So with this, our flare effect is just underway. We have to resize it up a bit. So control plus T or you edit, select edit and free transform as well. So there's a lens flare. I can also rotate it so that right upside like this it is very cool now let's look at something here you can see that from this side the edges are showing very real and it's not making their work realistic okay so we are going to create a layer mask here the layer mask created you select your brush to make sure the black is at the top here yeah. okay then palm the flow is 9% it's okay then you clean up the edges okay so try to hide it off a bit okay clean up the edges of the lens flap let's 
Okay, so this side is it. Now let's go back. After doing this, okay, we are not going to leave it as that. We have to still make it look more realistic. So we come to filter, then we select blur, then the Gaussian blur. Okay, so with the Gaussian blur selected, we increase it a bit. Okay. To blur it out and make it more realistic, I think this is really cool, right? Okay, so this this is okay. So I'll maintain this. Okay, but I would like to rotate it a bit more so that it shows downwards instead of that straight look. It shows like this. How is it? Okay, so now let's look at one more thing. Let's look at. Sorry. Now let's look at one more thing. We are going to change the color. Okay, I'm going to try and use other color if it will suit the blend. Maybe we want to apply different colors. So we are going to try that. So on the keyboard. Whilst you've selected this, okay, not the max, but the item itself, you press Ctrl plus U, okay, to open the hue and saturation. You can also get it from the image panel, okay. <clears throat> and you select colorize here, okay. After selecting it, you increase the saturation of it, and the hue you can manipulate it however you want. So if you want it in a red form, let's use this blue form. You can increase the saturation and reduce it. The lightness too, you can reduce it or increase it. See, increasing it will spoil it, so we reduce it very low. Okay, so I think we have a very nice lens play effect here. This is a short video just to show you how to create this lens play. You can also try in other lens plays as well. As I said, we have so many online that you can upload. So you can try any of them you want. You see, I have other styles as well. So you just choose any with the color don't worry you can change the color with the hue and saturation after you've done your work so you can leave your work this is our final work of art so you can leave it as that and save it or if you are using it in any flyer or any design we can fix it inside what do you think you can also try the lens play on other objects as well not only the camera, there are so many objects that shows the lens flare effect. So I'll end here for today. Thank you for watching to the end. And I hope to see you next time as well. Goodbye.